we have partnered with Who Home to provide this training program to all the their customers across the globe. When we uh, discuss about Who Home, the main features are okay. 4K renders, 4K, 8K, and up to 16K fast renders. It has cloud render, rendering pro, uh, process, which, which uh, eliminates the usage of uh, any hardware systems which, which would be required for you to render your outputs. It is easy to use. The platform has been made so simple that even, even a 15-year-old kid can get used to it and start designing his room uh, in a very, very, at a, at a very short time. So for this session, we have about 38 participants who have joined right now, and we are expecting more to join us. I hope my audio is clear for everyone. If not, you can please uh, drop in a text in the chat box. All right. So the rules for this session is to keep the cameras on so that we can have a live session. And during the session, if you have any queries, you have to, you can raise your doubts in the chat box. And if it is to the related topics, you can, uh, you can raise your queries in the chat box. When we had a discussion with uh, the team from Poo Home to start an online uh, training webinar for people across the globe, we did not expect this kind of, uh, like this much of a, uh, um, a response or it, the, the response was quite overwhelming for us. And when we raised the registration forms online, uh, in a very short span, we got a, more than 200 plus uh, people who have registered. And uh, most of them are from uh, India. And we have our brothers from Pakistan, Cairo, from US, Mexico, Dubai, Indonesia, South Africa, Puerto Rico. The list of countries go, go on and on. And I've just mentioned a few from different, oh, from Yemen. <laughs> yes. So, so that it's from Middle East, a lot, lot of people from Middle East. So it's, it's been a, it's been a, what do you say? The response has been quite overwhelming and surprising. So when we started with Home four years back, when Home had just started, developing and we were associated with the parent company and from that to the journey till now Home has developed tremendously and we believe that Home can be not just a design platform it'll have access to a lot of uh, wider applications which we will learn down the lane on more more webinars so this webinar which we have planned is give you a basic idea of how the platform works how it, how to start working on the platform how to do the lighting how to do the rendering so that's that's it, it's going to cover the basic starting ideas of the platform all right and i would like to uh, welcome miss shin yang from shanghai she she's one of the directors of Kuhun. and uh, she'll she'll be taking over from me miss shin yang hi i'm here hi am i clear yes you're you're quite clear Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you, John and Levy and Matthew for this session. And I briefly introduce myself. I am Xin Yan from Home team for global users. And uh, I'm now based in Shanghai. And uh, as uh, someone already know me, I showed up sometime in our WeChat group. Oh, no, <laughs> WhatsApp group, sorry. And uh, uh, I am very happy to, we are very delighted to have this uh, cooperative session with uh, Fiverr and uh, <clears throat> hope everyone would have some studies and get, we will get some feedbacks from you. And uh, also um, for today's audience, uh, we provided uh, these uh, um, rendering benefits for you. And uh, after this session, uh, uh, you will receiving um, you will receive these uh, email feedback emails and after you uh, put in give us your account then we will send this directly to your uh, Kuhom account so that's it and uh, everything <clears throat> we could discuss in a whatsapp group later on you can find me easily I think that's basically all what I want to say and uh, should you have any questions uh, so suggestions about cool home or our service, you can always come to me. 
Uh, over to Arjun. Arjun. Yeah, hi. Good afternoon, everyone. My name Stop. is Arjun. I'll be your tutor for the day. And uh, I'm an architectural visualizer working with Favor. I've been using Proof Home for the past three years now. So, which makes me eligible to treat, teach you guys how to do this so effortlessly. So, without further ado, I'll uh, start with the basics. Hope everyone can see my screen right now. This will be Go Home's landing page, the one you will be directed to when you log into Go Home. And here you can start a new project by clicking on the new project button. And uh, And this will be your workspace. This is where you start your project. You can either import a CAD or import an image where, from which you can draw the flow plan. I'll show you how to import an image and show, uh, draw over it because CAD is really simple. You can just add the CAD here, a CAD file here, and uh, Who Home will automatically detect the walls, the doors, windows, and everything like that. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to draw using a JPEG image. So this, I've uploaded an image, which will be shown here on the workspace. And after that, you can draw your walls using the wall tool. And then the, uh, there, is, uh, there are many tools which, with which you can draw and go home. The first thing will be the wall tool, which will be linear lines and a room tool, which can be used to draw square lines, square rooms. So I'll show you that by drawing a wall. You can trace the walls. Once you've uploaded the image, you can trace the walls using the wall tool. This is how you start with the project. Once you finish a room, you can Once you're finished with the walls, you can add doors. You can use the door tools. You can either use a single door or a double door or a sliding door. And after that, you can add windows. You have three other windows options here. And I will After the door's been done, you can set scale to this flow plan so that it is in line with the flow plan. After you're done with the rooms, you can actually name these rooms by using the room name tool here. So that you can accordingly name the room. This is a bedroom. So, and this is another bathroom here. So, after drawing the room, you can actually name this. And after that, you set scale. You can Set scale by using the image settings, which is below your screen. And uh, you get a scale. You can align this along with the walls. And uh, you can align this along the wall and you can type in the value, which will be 12 feet. We'll see, but you'll have to convert that into millimeters. 
because two home uses millimeters as basic unit. So you have to convert that into a millimeter. That will be three, six, five, seven. And after that, the whole flow plan will be aligned to the actual size. This will be the actual size of the apartment. It was so it's, and after that, you can add doors and windows to apartment walls. You just have to click and drag and place it in place, which is really easy. And after that, you can add windows. There are three types of windows, straight windows, French windows, and then day windows. Let's start with the straight window here. After the win uh, after the room is done, you can actually convert this into 3D by just clicking on the 3D button. So you have the room created automatically. After you're done with the room, you can add for flow tools. You can go to the flow tools and uh, you can change your uh, flooring type. After the construction part's done, you can move on to the public library, which is the next option on the left side menu. In the public library, you can go to Construct. There are a lot of options here, like finishes. You can go to finishes and you can add texture files here, like wall tiles, flow tiles. You have, they have a lot of options here. I'm going to use one from the library. Just have to click and drag and apply it here. And you have the flow plan here. And after that, you can move on to the walls and add wall paints or wallpapers or wall panels in your room. You can also get that from finishes. There are tiles, there are texture tiles, carpets, wallpapers. I'm going to add a wallpaper here just so that you guys can see how it is. There are a lot of options here in the, on the wallpaper which you can use, or you can upload new ones from, you can upload your new files here. And you can apply that. After the flooring and wallpaper, you can move on to wall paints. Which you can add. There are a lot of options here as well. So there you have it. You can add wallpapers, wall paints, wall panels, flow plans, everything by the click of a button. So I'll just move on to the other options that we have. After um, creating the room, you can add the beams and columns, which will be shown in the back plan. You can readjust the, the size of these flow plans on the columns and beams according to the flow plan. 
which will be shown in 3D as well. These are the basic tools that you have in Google. The first one is wall tool, which will help you to draw walls. The next one is room tools, which will make you, which will help you draw rooms in rectangle. If the room is in rectangle shape, you can just do draw the tool, draw the room using this tool. And after that, you can use the hole tool to, uh, to draw a hole in the flooring which will be used to add a staircase, a stairway, or a flute, or anything like that. After drawing the hole, this will be shown as a hole to the bottom, bottom basement. And after that, you can use the door tools to assign doorways. And you can just use the double door, which will be for elevators and entrance doors. And then the sliding door, you have the sliding door. And, uh, and after that, you can uh, use windows, straight line windows, bay windows, French windows, all that, which will be I'll just show you the difference between all these window options that they have. The first one is a straight window, second one is a bay window, and the third one is a French window. And after that, you have the beam, and then the screw, and then the column, which I have applied here. The beams will be shown like this on the ceiling. The columns will be shown like this. And after that, we have a door opening. You can use the door opening tool to give away a door opening instead of a door. Those are the basic tools in the toolkit. And after you're done with the rooms, you can move on to adding furnitures to it, which will which we have in the public material library. You can add furnitures here. Add furniture to this room so that this is done first. You just click and apply it here. After that, you can add furniture as like side tables. There are a lot of options here, as you can see. After that, Another work there. Yeah. 
after adding basic furniture here, we can we also add a wardrobe here so that this room is complete. After furniture is placed, you get the parameters of the furniture on the right side, where you can adjust the length, the width, height, and the height above floor of each furniture. You can adjust it to the size that you want. And the furniture will get adjusted just like that. After adding the furniture, we can go to decors where we can add the curtain, another drapes for the window. There are a lot of options here as well. Can either use these or you can upload it. You just have to drag it and place it above the window and it will snap in place. After that, you can do your chest size. And match the window. After adding the furniture, I can add some more decor items in the room to make it look presentable. You get a lot of all the course, paintings, accessories, paintings, etc. in the library, which you can apply by just clicking on the wall. After all the course, you can uh, add some plans or flower vases in the room or to give it a little more Also, there are a lot of options here. You can use these, or you can upload new from. You can model it in should be a snack or Sketchup, and you can upload it here in Google. And after you're done with the decoration. Decorations, you can add other construction finishes like sideboards, cornices, etc. by going into construction. There are a lot of options for doors, windows, and columns here. You can change the basic door style and change anything from the library. Oh, like I said, you can upload your new, new one.
basically you can change any furniture inside doors or windows or anything to your liking and you can not renew things and upload it here as well after that i'll apply a base code here And after the base code, we can move on to the ceiling. Where you can either use ceilings from the library. There are a lot of options here as well. Or you can make your custom one by going into ceiling editor. Draw a basic ceiling here, which will be 500 inside from all sides. Uh, you can only extrude the shapes that you've drawn in here. So I'm going to give an extrusion of 100 here so that it has a 3D effect. And you can see what you've done in 3D by going into the small preview screen on the right side. After you're done with the ceiling, you can add cold lights inside the ceiling just by ticking on this option right here, intent lamp belt. If you click on it, you can get a code light automatically generated by Google Home. You can change the color of the light, brightness of the light, and also the shape of the code, which you can adjust here. After you've done the changes, you can copy that and place the other sides. So you have a custom ceiling here, basic custom ceiling. After that, you save your changes and you exit the ceiling editor tool. This is a very basic ceiling layout that you can make in Google Home. You can also add spotlights in this by going to 2D and ceiling. These are the two options in which you can view Google Home. One in 2D and the other in 3D. In 2D, you have flow tool and flow plan, which will be which you can see the flow from the block. And uh, this, the second one is the ceiling, ceiling view, where you can see only the ceiling part. So once you go to the ceiling tool, ceiling view, you can add ceiling lights there by going into lighting, which is on the public library. And and down lights here. And add down lights. This here.
that. We can add something here. I have more pendants here. We give it a Declaration here. After the saving. You can also add ceiling lights and chandeliers here in the once you go to the ceiling tool you there are a lot of options here as well where you can add more paint more paints more papers paint coating more fabric wood veneers anything to the ceiling and all the other options here You can just apply it onto the shapes that you created here. And there are cassette plates, which are tiles, which you can add inside the ceiling to make it a more neat look. After that, there are the integrated bar panels, which you can also apply instead of the cassette plates. And after that, there are 3D paints, texture paints, which you can apply. And then there are more moldings like corners, ceiling corners, base boards or decorative moldings, and stuff like that you can explore. I'll just add a promise here, just so you guys can see. You guys can see what we've applied in PDB. So that Arjun, um, yeah? little audio, like your audio is not very, very clear. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. Am I you... audible now? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, okay. And after that, you can add uh, appliance modules like lighting, ventilations, or heating appliances. And uh, there are another option called lighting here where you can add the chandeliers, ceiling molded lamps, spark lights, down lights, etc., which you can browse here. You just have to click and apply here. Once you're done, you can save and exit the tool. And these will be shown in the vendor. So we've done with the room and move on to the next one. Where um this should be the kitchen, and I'll show you guys how to create a kitchen. 
there are a lot of kitchen models in the library. You can either use these or you can upload new ones, like I said. Like I said. In the kitchen also, you can change the floor plan, I mean, the floor tiles and the wall panels. Under finishes, there are a lot of tiles, flooring textures, carpets, planes, and stuff like that, which you can add according to will and according to the design. And after you're done with the floor, you can move on to the wall, to wall tiles. I'll show you how you use the wall editor here. So that you can add data types to the kitchen. You can draw the shape using the line tool and you can fill tiles inside, inside the shape so that you have the desired output. There are a lot of options there, like you can use either use a line tool or a rectangle tool or a polygon tool to draw lines on the wall and you can add tiles or wall paints or uh, other textures inside it to get a decided out output. And after you're done with it, you can just save and exit. So you have the data dial and the water. And after that, I'll just show you how to light the room and just take a basic image render so that you know how this finishes look in a render. For that, you have to go to the render to render screen. And there are a lot of aspect ratios. 
Let's zoom us to now on minus to 16, or this to 3. These are image aspect ratios that we can use to render an image. Another option that I would like to show you is that how to upload new images or textures so that you can upload new images by going to the My Account page and then go to Uploads. And under there, if you have anything that upload new model or texture that you want to add to this library to this project. Once you go to the upload stage, there are, you can all, uh, either more upload a model here or a texture here. And once you go to the upload page, to home, to home supports models from PDS Max and Sketcher. You can either use a Max file or a RAR file or a zip file or zip. FBX or SKP files. These are the formats that Google Home supports. You can up upload up to 20 models at a time. You can just click on it, click here, and you can just browse the model. I'm not sure I don't have any models right now, just to show you guys. These are all basic features that Google Home offers. After that, I'll come back to the lighting. Then you can go to the render page. And these are the aspect ratios like I said, and these are the resolutions that you can render in an image. Standard HD and 4K images as uploaded. And these are uh, lighting options. There are a lot of templates here, which you can use. Like uh, indoor daytime, which will give you a daylight image and warm kind of image and into nighttime, which will give you a nighttime image. The outside scenarios here you can see will change according to the template. And you can select either one of these and you can go to edit, customize these lights. You can customize this before you rendering. And you can adjust the lighting. Here. Here you are automatically lights are generated under all the lights that you place under the chandelier, the spot lights, and the cold lights, and all the lights are automatically generated. You can either edit these and click on it, and you'll get the option parameter right here. And in that, you can change the color of the light. Or rather, you can type in the temperature of the light. Like 5000 Kelvin. And here, you can adjust the height of the light. Height of the placement where the light is placed. You can adjust the height here. This is about selected. Uh, and that's just the height here. And this is the front angle. You can tilt the light so that the direction of the light is 
somewhere to the floor or onto the wall. These are the options that you have in lighting. And on the left side, you have, you can add more lights, like what kind of lights which are used to build up an area. You can change uh, the color and the brightness of each of these lights that you add. And these are all spotlights, which you can use instead of the automatically generated lights here. You can delete this and you can use new lights if you want. And after that, you can use the uh, automatic exposure button here if you think the light is really bright. If the room is lit up really bright. And this, these are the uh, outside scenarios that you get on strengthening. Outside scenarios are shown outside the window in each room. You can either change those to the desired outside image. You can also upload these and add your custom images outside the window. And after that's done, there are two options to render. One is a still image, which will be shown here on the previous screen, or a Panorama 360 image, which will be shown around the room. I'll use the Panorama here and uh, just take a Best render, a standard render, just to show you guys. Images that you've rendered will be shown in the gallery. You go to the gallery from your default workspace. Again, you can click on the gallery button and you can go to the gallery where your images, your 360 images, or your still images are found. Thank you. Drawing walls and rooms is really easy. Once you have the uh, reference image, you can upload it and you can just draw these walls and windows above. If you have any doubts regarding all these things, you can ask in the message box. And I will try to answer those.
this is the image render scene where you can place the camera and rotate it in any direction that you want. And the image preview will be shown on the preview screen on the right side of your screen. So I'm going to run image of the image LP, so you know how it is. Okay, Rahul, let's ask me if I can make a walkthrough here. Uh, yes, we can. If we render two rooms together, I'll render a bedroom there and I'll run a kitchen here. And we can connect both these and turn it into a walkthrough. I'll show you how to do that. You can just place the camera in the kitchen and render out a kitchen room. The windows are in queue and uh, basically take a little time. After you've rendered two or three rooms together, you can create a walkthrough between all these rooms by just selecting it all and stitching it together. I'll show you how to do that once the renders are done. This is another bedroom. I'll show you how to make another ceiling. Go to ceiling editor tool. Okay. Once the renders are done, you can generate your um, walkthrough by stitching these together. And uh, our renders are still in queue. You can add furniture here and uh, create a living room here so that I can stitch all these rooms and show you how to create a walkthrough.
you can go to um, furniture combinations which is an option where uh, Google Home has already set a lot of furniture together and you can just use it to save time. That doesn't fit, you can try other options here. You can add a TV unit here. Once the furniture is placed, you can rotate, scale, scale, rotate, and move. These are the three options that you have when you click on a furniture. You can manipulate the size, the rotation, and also the uh, size of the TV of any furniture that you're trying to manipulate. Once you click on a furniture, you can flip it. There are options to scale, rotate, and move. And then you can mirror the object, mirror it back and forth, and then you can replace it to something bigger. And you can duplicate it, and then you have the option to hide it, and then lock it, lock it in place so that it won't get misplaced. When you're rotating the screen or when you're changing other furnitures, and then you can delete it. And you can also change the material of the furniture by going into material editor. Here you can change the materials used on this furniture by clicking on it and changing to other options that we have in the library. You can also upload images and textures of these images, image texture images, and then change it to desired output. You can change the metal to stainless steel or black and green steel. There are other options here like rose gold, polished metal, matte metal, shiny metal. There are a lot of options here. You can change these materials to something you like. This will also be shown in the 3D view and in renders.
So renders are still in queue. Usually it only takes two, four, five minutes to get it rendered. Maybe it's because of high traffic there in the servers. That's why the renders are in working right now. This is the cloud of home where I'll show you how to design. You can add bathroom furniture, I mean, sanitary wares and stuff like that on the bathroom. After placing the furniture, you can move it around by using the move axis. After that, place the toilets. In our faucets here as well, shower heads, and all those sanitary hardware that you get. And you can also place shower rooms, cubicles, urinals, etc. You have a lot of models here as well. You can upload new models and also place it here. You can also change the wall tiles and flooring. You can change the wall tiles, the uh, flow to flow tiles, etc. There, and after that, you can just render another image. So, placing the camera inside each room, and click on render. Usually, the renders take about two three minutes. And due to heavy traffic in the servers, we are experiencing rendering issues. So I can provide you guys the renders in which is 360 by email, in which you have joined this webinar. Uh, Arjun, uh, yeah. one not to worry if we uh, are we doing 4k renders or are we doing uh, standard hd renders standard hd renders uh, okay try try a standard render maybe that queue might be clear okay I'll try and bring in standard then.
usually it takes two minutes for a render so so that should be it so i hope uh, everyone had a had a uh, informative session and if there are just since this is our first session if you guys have your feedbacks on how to how to improve or further topics which uh, you are interested in or things like that you can you can let us know in the feedback form and please do fill up the feedback form which we have put up so that uh, it'll be you know you guys can avail the free coupons which uh, the render coupons which you guys uh, for, which we are providing all right so that's it guys thank you thank you everyone for uh, joining the first webinar we hope this is the starting of many more sessions to come all right and we can we can build a good team in in this in this kind of sessions because we are planning to work together with home users across the globe so that you know it'll be a platform where people can share each other's work and design and so that that's that's what we are expecting it to happen so in coming in uh, webinars which are coming uh, down the lane we'll be giving more training on on a little bit more complicated uh, topics all right thank you everyone thank you for your time and have a nice weekend